Hello, this is Trofte Trofte, and I'm getting cooked alive. Uh, anyway, uh, today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. And why I'm getting cooked alive? Because it's hot. It's really hot and I live in the first floor, so I have to close the window. I ha cannot open the uh, fan. The air conditioner, not air conditioner actually, it's ju just a giant fan uh, because it makes too much noise and I'm actually susceptible to heat a lot. Anyway, <laughs> uh, what we are going to do today is actually two different things. First, uh, it's actually not the first part because, but, but it's an important part. As you can see, we have some new crops here. Uh, I need to put two more here. They are all stone lilies. I also have to put some white stone lily too, but that's not that important because they are, it doesn't get you much. Uh, what I'm getting from white stone lily is something I can get from gray stone lily too. And why am I why I am bothering with these stone lilies? <sighs> Good question. Uh, let's just say, uh, where, ah, Nether, Nether Storm Lily gives Netherrack Dust, and if I centrifuge Netherrack Dust, I get Redstone, Sulfur, Coal, and Gold, which is quite important. Coal is also equals to Carbon, and uh, Black Storm Lily gives black grain dust and I get silicon di dioxide and BOT dust which gives us, not this, potassium, magnesium, alumina, raw silicon, oxygen and fluorine which is quite important actually. Uh, yellow stone lily gives ant stone dust and it gives us tungstate, platinum, sand and helium. As you can see, it's quite good. And lastly, did I... Uh, stone... Lily... Uh, and red one gives red grain dust and it gives us... Alumina and potassium feldspar dust and which gives us... Potassium dust, alumina dust, silicon dioxide and oxygen. And grey stone lily. That's the bee's knees. It gives us something we constantly put in, in the trash can. <laughs> Stone dust. But we have power now and we can just produce constantly. It gives us quartzite dust, marble dust, which in return uh, magnesium and calcite. And also the reason I said we don't need white lily now. Uh, Beyond it, it's, we just uh, look at that. Uh, sodalite, it is the most important part for us at the moment. It gives us chlorine, aluminium, raw silicon and sodium. Uh, metal mixture dust, it is a bit expensive to uh, process, so I will probably uh, store it for an now, but it gives us banded iron, bauxite, this guy uh, buried which is barium and sulfur oxygen, okay. Chromite, uh, which is quite good, and ilmenite. Yeah, and also th this guy again. So it's actually quite nice process. So we need a lot of electrolyzer and centrifuges. Also, the main thing we are gonna do today is Expanding our ore processing. Yeah. And what is this behemoth? Small fella. Yeah, it's a ore washing plant. It washes ores. But it's not finished yet. We need to put water to this guy. It's a tedious process. Luckily, we have some time. 
Anyway, I also wanted to talk so uh, about something that uh, last few episodes I released uh, due to backlog. It's actually not uh, that the last episode you will see. Uh, actually, it's I think 37 and 38 episodes. I actually happy with the feedback I get from those episodes and yeah it's it's getting better uh, I still like to keep the interactions active also one more thing uh, I don't know if I mentioned uh, should I open an English uh, discord channel too uh, because I currently have a really active Turkish one but it's mostly Turkish uh, Except the technical stuff, but it's still Turkish with uh, English uh, words spread around. Uh, or is it not necessary? Anyway, uh, let's do this and place these guys. Yes, the, this guy really requires water. I really like the reservoir, uh, reservoir hatch. It is a lifesaver. Anyway, uh, one more thing. Uh, I still not decided what to do with the base stuff because I still want to try something else for my base, but I also do not want to waste much time. And I still don't know what would be the best idea for a new base. Uh, I, I know I asked that question, I think last episode or a few episodes ago, but I still not decided and I hope I <laughs> will release this episode uh, before I uh, go to the Mars. So that would be a good point because I, after Mars I want to make Apply the Energy 6 Network and if I want to go to a new place, a new base, I want my... Uh, how can I say? Uh, I want my uh, Applied Synergy System in my new base. And it's done. And we can activate it now. Now, uh, by the way, if you uh, press with screwdriver with the, to this guy, you change the output mode. Uh, not output mode. Uh, you change it from ore washer to a uh, chem chemical bath. Yeah. Let's put our crushed silver. Let's test it. And you will be missing water. What? You literally have water. You literally have all the water in the world. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna make some mess and yeah. Anyway, that's a strange thing to say to me. Missing water. Yeah, it still says missing water. Why? Why you are saying missing water? You literally have full of water. Okay. Okay, it detected now. It's much faster. And yeah, every five seconds it. Uh, yeah, it provides 12 ores. Yeah, that's a good device in my book. Anyway, uh, we do that. So we will automate it uh, later, but we also need one more multi block. A rotary centrifuge. And I will put this guy. Here, uh, in, not industrial center, sorry. And actually, let's put, yeah, let's put the, I actually like the aesthetic of it. This, so I will put uh, what you got, you need, you need input bus, output bus, uh, input hatch, you don't need uh, input hatch. Energy hatch, maintenance hatch, and muffler hatch. Actually, come to think of it, and uh, it's okay uh, because uh, we okay. Now, 
input bus, output bus, maintenance hatch, and energy hatch. Yep. And input bus, you can be at any casings. Nice. Uh, input bus, you come here. Output bus, you come here. And maintenance hatch. Thank you. And energy hatch, that will go down. Is there any? No. I will have to ditch something from ground up. Anyway, what I was telling, yeah, uh, this guy is our new centrifuge. Actually, it's not the main... Uh, that's important. But by the way, we were gonna make uh, a lot more of this guy. And incomplete structure. What you? What else do you need? Ah, muffler hatch. Okay. And muffler hatch. We should have. We should have one. I don't know. I don't have one. Anyway, muffler hatch. Uh, muffler hatch. Come here. Okay. At the moment we have a system right now it's not fully finished yet because we ha still have to make the electrolyzer parts <laughs> but uh, yeah let's uh, look at it a bit first let's mm, let me just put actually let's just put those guys and if i put those in the system it will go you will see here two centrifuge and they got they will get eventually yeah centrifuged the okay yeah after that actually i should put a buffer chest here yep i forgot the buffer chest a uh, chest one gold chest come here Buffer chests are quite important because they actually solve a huge issue. And uh, let's get these. Actually, let's get this and this with this. And you were... Item sync? No, not you. Ah. Yeah, it was you. Sorry. Anyway, uh, and a conduit. A basic conduit. Insert red. And extract red. Oh, a zone. Uh, because if I do not uh, have the buffer chest, they will, yeah, as you can see, they move here when the buffer is full and also i made a layered thingy here uh, it will try to f uh, it will go to here and conduits first try to fill this then this then this and lastly this uh, i will use them for sorting in the future and ingots are coming here yeah, and also, we have a wall of uh, drawers here. Those are the some of the buffers and the end products. Buffers are, for example, here. Uh, I use for here. Let's look at it. These are like this. I put, uh, I put them on keep one stack. I'm planning to put two sets of... Uh, actually, 18, uh, it's 16 uh, types of items here. Uh, another input will be added here for another 16 types of item, etc. And then it will produce them. For example, uh, by the way, all of those items are centrifuge items. And there's a output hatch here connected to a fluid insertion pipe. 
yeah, it's connected to the main network. So, for example, our mer mercury levels should r rise up. Uh, where is my mercury? I need to put... Oh, it's happened to you too. Nice. I should start making a collection from them. Uh, we have one more chlorine. Uh, it's kind of sort of a bug, I guess. Uh, it happens when acidic acids. Okay. Uh, let's put you on overflow valve. Yeah. And uh, fluorine is not uh, done yet. And so where is the mercury? Ah, yeah, it's risen up. Anyway. <laughs> this is like that. And for example, uh, let's put all the chrome in it too. And they will also now just go there. Yep. And yep, here. And then they will start uh, centrifuge. And for example, uh, meteoric iron ore. Uh, actually, I probably going to implement a chemical bath for you. Yeah, because you will give me platinum metallic dust. But is it that important? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let me just think about that. Other than that, I will just get nickel. Oh, actually, in thermal centrifuge and grout, I get iridium metal residue dust. Yeah, that's gonna be much more beneficial. So we will make a thermal centrifuge. Yep, definitely going to make a thermal centrifuge. So with that, I actually get iridium. Uh, yep, that's that. Uh, and ilmenite, yeah. And, for example, a simple ore, uh, a stack of chromite. Come here, you will get crushed. And then that guy gets here, gets washed. And with, with this guy, we have a uh, type filter crushed. And with this guy, we have one type filter or an crush purified and one with those guys uh, it, that list will be grow will grow and these guys are just item sync modules i think this is the all this is all of them maybe i need to add some more in the future but yeah it's probably not going to need a mark 5 also this one doesn't uh, doesn't going to require a mark 1 2 uh, Mark 5 too. Yeah. Now, what we're gonna need is a wall of electrolyzers. I wish I could ex uh, have access to multi-block one. So, in the meantime, you're just going to do the most necessary ones and then store the rest. What are those, the ne those necessary ones? Uh, I'm probably going to electrolyze this guy and definitely appetite uh, this guy definitely got uh, going to get uh, electrolyzed uh, for this guy i probably going to use the nitric acid one because it quick lime um, yeah i get actually a lot of stuff uh, but by electrolyzing i just get a small amounts of things and i also get sluice juice yeah, uh, nitric acid automation is on the list. And this guy is going to be important and it's going to require a not so simple uh, automation because it will give us a bunch of stuff. Actually, uh, come to think of it, I can just temporarily uh, uh, wait for you. This is going to be rare earth. Uh, this can wait because actually let me just get look at it. Yeah. Uh crushed rare earth. You give us actually you give us a lot of things and but it's not fully important. Uh not uh urgent. Chromite is urgent. 
And you are... Ah, I will also use you. Yeah. Chromite, uh, chrome, calcium. Yep, uh, this process is going to be much more better. And I... It doesn't use much nitric acid, but I have to produce a lot of nitric acid with that. And chemical plants. Actually, yeah, I... Nitrogen distillation. Yep, I have to look for... The fluid blocks sludge? What? Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, uh, I have to look for it. Anyway... Now, what I have to do is get some rest, because it's middle of the night, and then I will do a wall of electrolyzers, and then automate the stone dusts. They are full here. Yeah, they will be processed. They will definitely be processed. And after some while, it's mostly done. Uh, yeah, this is the current setup, and let's look at it. First, we have five centrifuges here. Uh, marble, black granite, netherrack, uh, stone dust, and ant stone dust. I'm using a system like that because... Yeah, uh, I don't want a multi-block to... Uh, keep stuck at same dust type all the time. So uh, they are just separate thingies and they don't need to be super fast. They just need to be passive, constant. And those are some of the most important and easy to process uh, dusts at the moment. There are drawers here uh, that uh, buffers them and electrolyzers. Uh, I put those two at the end because this guy outputs two different uh, fluids and one of the fluids uh, goes there and then it dumps to the system and the other it also it's also oxygen by the way uh, it dumps here and yada yada everything comes to the green outputs chest uh, both these and this and then uh, this is just a temporary uh, one that I just used to uh, use as a buffer between those two networks because I don't want those and those to get confused and this is mercury processing and I'm just currently processing nickel and meteoric iron I don't need the others yet I will need probably in the future. And this is the juicer. Those two are the juicers. Uh, I'm currently building it appetite, soda lead, uh, potassium, uh, felspar, chromite, uh, phosphate, bonds, blah blah. Yeah, those. Uh, I'm processing those. Also, some of the centrifuge ones. So, yeah. I uh, this will this entire wall will be redundant when we get multi-block electrolyzer, but we need to go to the Mars for that. And I also want to have a small magical break. I want to get some Terra Steel. So yeah, the, this is currently works for us. Yeah. And it's it's actually working quite nicely, and I'm cur currently processing some cinnabars, uh, cinnabars. Yeah, and the rest. Oh yes, the aluminiums. I need to connect a blast, another blast furnace here, just for cooking some stuff. Other than that, we are good actually. Our ore processing net. Thingy majiggy got better, got much, 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 much better, uh, but it's it's going to be an amazing, the hard thing to make a uh, thumbnail out of. Anyway, next episode, 
either I will go with some magical journey or I will just do some more tech stuff. I I want to make a, a multi-block uh, bending machine, but yeah, I can do it in a, uh, whenever I want. And oh, si the current system slow but works. Anyway, this is Crafty Crafty, and have an amazing day.